See, last week, everybody was giving me problems about speaking on the Tank Davis situation as far as Frank Martin fight. Is it good enough for Tank Davis right now? And what's pissing me off is I keep hearing about a 16-year-old kid. And Frank Martin's supposed to be one of the best opponent the Tank fought since so far. Frank Martin, he the best one. He earned it. He the best. He the best. But we talking about Devin Haney at 16 years old. So let me ask y'all a question. Y'all okay with guys in our community walking around fighting 16-year-olds at 20 years old and bragging about it? I'm asking. Because I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know we was... We was beating up on freshmen in high school and bragging about it. And we trying to, and y'all gonna tell me it's Tank a pay per view star, but we talking about the Devin, the biggest fight that he had so far looks like Devin Haney spar sparring Devin Haney at 16 years old. So the toughest fight for uh, Tank Davis to had is sparring uh, Devin Haney at 16. Look how embarrassing that is, man. I gotta sit up here and talk about Canelo. People talking about, oh, yeah, the Tank, yeah. And I got to talk about Canelo all day. I'm sitting here trying to correct what Canelo doing because he's showing Tank the way to move right now. And this is what Tank learned it from. And you got people running around here talking about a sparring match, the best the best fight Tank they've ever been in. People just start missing the Barrios. Oh, Barrios beat Ugas. Barrios beat Ugas. He beat Ugas. Before that, Barrios ain't beat nobody. But if we, well, Barrios beat Ugas. He beat Ugas. You know, he was Barrios, man. These dudes be so late to the party, bro. By the time y'all get to the party, bro, all the juice gone. Ain't no girls there. It ain't nothing going on. These dudes show up to the party late all the time. By the time they get to the party, where everybody at? These dudes talking about Tank Davis sparring. Bro, do y'all know that millions of people seen this sparring already? It's not a big deal. It's not. People trying to explain the sparring that Tank lost money in. That will never make sense. Tank David lost money and now we're talking about the sparring. Come oh, on, man. I'm tired of hearing about this sparring. So is a 16-year-old the biggest fight you done had in your career? A 16-year-old guy? Why? Tank, why is a 16-year-old your best fight? Why is your best fight and your biggest, most talked about fight a 16-year-old kid when you was 20 years old and you was in the sparring match with him? Why you ain't fight Tevin Farmer? Ain't y'all close in age? Why he? Why you ain't got a sparring match with Bud Crawford? What a Terrence Crawford uh, sparring match at? He ain't got one of those. He ain't got a... Man, that's what I'm saying, man. What a Terrence Crawford sparring at? Show me that. That makes sense. Man, I'm telling you. I'm going to be real with y'all, bro. A lot of y'all don't even mention Tank with a big name boxer. Y'all don't mention him with Boots. Y'all don't mention him with Haney. I mean, not Haney, but uh, Andy Cruz. Y'all don't mention him with Bud Crawford. Nobody. Y'all sit up here. These little guys. Y'all focus on the little guys. We got 24, 25-year-olds running boxing. I'm going in the search engine. I'm seeing 25-year-olds and 24-year-olds as the biggest names in boxing right now. With Canelo walking around. Canelo's getting replaced. And we sitting here talking about a sparring match. Tank getting replaced because he's sitting up here getting, uh, getting matched up and talked about with a, a sparring match with Devin Haney. He promoting Devin Haney. Ain't nobody talking about saying, yeah, that's sparring match. Tank got do y'all Frank Martin got a sparring match with Devin uh, with with Tank Davis. Oh. That video ain't out though. Oh, okay. Mmm. So Frank Martin got a sparring match with Devin Haney. I ain't hear Tank bragging about that sparring match. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll make a video about that because, you know, I'm petty on this channel. Ain't nobody watching anyway. You know, ain't nobody hitting the like button. It's all good. Um, So, Tank Davis sparring a 16-year-old. That's a big deal now. I'm just asking because that's why I don't really pay attention to what bro got going on unless he's in the ring. Because 
A 16-year-old, bro, that ain't cool, bro. I've been watching Tank for 10 years now. Before he even was pro, before he even was really locked in like that. Tank is not like that when it comes to other boxers. Period. Well, he really a 26. He really a 26 or a 30. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really no 35 or 40. You know, he fought Barrios. He take the credit for the Barrios fight. And, you know, Barrios beat Ugas, but he don't fight no 47s. He'll fight Conor Ben, but not Terrence Crawford. You know, Conor Ben weighs 170 pounds, but, you know, Terrence Crawford, he's too, you know, he's too, he's too, he's too strong. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's too experienced. So, that would be crazy to put him in with Tank. Oh, Tank ain't like that then. Okay. That's all you got to say. I'm starting to find that now. Tank is on Devin Haney level. He's not on Terrence Crawford level. All right. Okay. Tank Davis is on Terrence Crawford level. I'm at Devin Haney level, not Terrence Crawford. None of those guys. He's not jumping up in weight. He's not going up from 47 to 68 to try to fight a Canelo. He's not doing that. Um, <sighs> let me see. So the sparring match is the best thing the Tank got going on. Hmm. And people think think that why I put out the video last year saying 2023 is the last year that, that Tank Davis' resume will be better than Devin Haney's. This is the reason why. Haney fighting Regis Progray and Tank fighting Frank Martin. For some reason, we like, oh, yeah, 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 Frank Martin, Frank Martin, Frank Martin. He just fought Regis Progray. Regis Progray ain't no, ain't no bad fighter. What are we talking about? And that was on pay-per-view. Y'all worrying about sales and everything, but for some reason, I guess the sales for Devin Haney last fight was good enough because Ryan Garcia jumping in the ring with him. All y'all narratives are starting to die. Ryan Garcia, so Devin Haney pay-per-view numbers were so bad his last fight. Ryan Garcia jumps in the ring with him. He's so he's such a sorry, sorry fighter. He did so bad in the sparring uh against Tank Davis that he jumped in the ring with Lomachenko. What, eight years later? Make that make sense. Why Tank can't do that, that, that same stuff Tank was doing in sparring? Why he can't do that to Lomachenko? Oh, I forgot. Everybody ducking, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody ducking. I forgot. What do I know? You know, everybody ducking. Terrence Crawford, all of them, they don't want to fight Tank Davis. What? Yeah, the same Tank Davis that went 12 rounds with Eastside Cruz. He don't got no excuse, but he'll sit up here and say, yeah, yeah, my wrist, my arm was hurt, and, you know, I had an injury, but, uh, yeah, I ain't got no excuses. You know, Shakira, he didn't want to got an excuse for the injury. Nah, you just, you did the same thing Shakira did, buddy. Man, you ran a little bit. I'm just keeping 100 with y'all. Tank was running in that fight, that Eastside Cruz fight. And we talking about sparring a 16-year-old? Man, y'all don't fall back. I'm going to tell you that now. I'm not the one. I don't know if dudes be knowing it, but sparring a 16-year-old ain't it, my guy. Tank Davis sparring a 16-year-old as a highlight. Best hi highlight of his career is sparring a 16-year-old. I'm just saying facts. Every time we get around online or somewhere, people are talking about this sparring. Tank can fight Barrios. He can fight Isak Cruz. He can fight Ryan Garcia. Soon as the fight over with, they ain't gonna talk about the fight. They're gonna say, oh yeah, 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 that Devin Haney sparring. Like I told y'all, that proves that Tank resume ain't like that. He done fought all these guys. And we talking about a 16-year-old Haney. A 16-year-old. So the best person that Tank has sparred in the last 10 years is Devin Haney at 16? Oh yeah. And I'm going to tell you another thing, too, bro. If you're still talking about that, don't nobody want to hear about your high school days. And I'm Tank, wasn't even, he wasn't even in high school. So he can't talk about the high school days. You got to actually be in high school to be talk about your high school days. You two years out of high school and beating up on high school guys. What's that about? And bragging about it. Yeah, that little boy ain't got hit man strip yet. You know what I'm saying? I had to show him what it was. Bro, you drinking liquor and everything. You sitting here fighting a 20-year-old. I mean, a 16-year-old. A, a and people are like, man, you mad about it. Why would I be mad when Devin Haney finna fight Ryan Garcia? 
obviously this far wasn't that bad because Devin Haney just beat Lomachenko last year. Now he's going to fight Ryan Garcia this year at 25. Now the next question y'all need to start asking yourselves is, what's going on? Is, is the tank fight going to be big enough? Because they talking about a sparring match. And these boys, they think about Frank Moore. And there's no disrespect to Frank Moore. I'm just keeping 100. I ain't got to apologize for, no, for saying facts. <laughs> what world y'all live in? Man. And then people talking, they ain't officially announced the fight yet. That's even worse. That's worse. Because that when, when that happens, they still going to be talking about the sparring match. Tank gonna get questions about, hey, what's up with that sparring match you had with Devin Haney? Man, that's sad, bro. But uh, that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.